Welcome to Local Business Spotlight, everyone. In the studio today, T1 Health and Wellness, and of course, the wonderful woman behind that brand. Her name is Angie. Welcome back to the show, my Thank friend. Thank you. Nice to see you Thanks again. Thanks for having me. Well, we're talking about a topic that um, I guess a lot of guys don't like to talk about, but they do because they have women in their lives, and we're talking all about menopause, right? Right. Okay, so let's break it down to begin with. What is menopause for people who may be a little unsure? Menopause is the time in a woman's life when she stops producing hormones and it marks the end of uh, fertility. So hormone levels start to decline around menopause. It, uh, there's a lot of physical and psychological changes that occur as the result of hormone loss. Okay, so we know because we've, we talk about these things all the time and we read about it in the press as well, but let's just let everyone know at home, this isn't for someone who turns 65 plus. This can start at a much younger age as well. Absolutely. It can start earlier. The average age is 45 to 55, uh, but with the average age being 51 in the United States. Right. Women can go through it earlier as a result of um, hysterectomy, right. smoking, radiation, chemotherapy. So there are different causes, but genetics will give you a big clue. If women will talk to their mothers and their sisters and their aunts and get an idea of what they experienced around menopause, that'll give women a clue of what to expect. Okay, interesting you say that because, look, here's the thing. We don't really talk about our medical issues with our friends and family. Right. So maybe what would you start off with if you were a young woman and you wanting to talk to your mom or your grandmother about it? How do you advise your clients to open that conversation? Well, I guess because I talk about it every day, <laughs> exactly. it doesn't seem like it would be a taboo topic. Yeah. Um, but I would just have them ask, and the mothers and the sisters and the aunts, they're going to be open and willing and wish that they had had someone that to share this information with them so that they know what to expect. Because a lot of mm. women, when they start experiencing these changes, they don't know what, what's going on. And so... Um, it it's can be concerning. And you need to go in and be tested. Have Absolutely. that open conversation. Okay, what are some of the signs that you may be entering those first stages of menopause? Well, the vasomotor symptoms such as hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, those are the first clues really. But um, also weight gain, even oh, really? though despite uh, diet and exercise, especially around the midsection, when women are younger, we carry our weight in our hips, thighs, and buttocks. But as we start to lose estrogen, that weight shifts to the midsection. Okay. And so it's much more difficult to lose weight, irritability, uh, fatigue, joint aches, uh, loss of sex drive, okay. uh, mental uh, fog. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about, which I think is important, what are some of the treatments? Well, the cause of menopause is a loss of hormones. So the treatment should be centered around replacing those hormones that are lost. That's how you really treat it. Now, we also talk about healthy lifestyle choices, yes. you know, good nutrition, increasing activity, but when someone is so tired and fatigued, they don't want to hear about activity, and it takes us getting those hormones back in a good range before we can start to address those issues. All right, very quickly before we go, there has been conversation, or is there risk to taking HRT? The major risk of is not taking hormone replacement therapy because Without hormone therapy, you will develop insulin resistance, cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis. So, but with that said, there has been a lot of controversy about HRT, and that all is because of the use of synthetic hormones. Right. So not all hormones are created equal, and so uh, you have to look at what type of hormone is being prescribed. Well, we know you're a wealth of knowledge. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. If you Thank want to find you. out more Thank information, you for having me. of course, about Tier 1 Health and Wellness, there it all is up on the screen. Give them a call.